I spent years playing Fortnite and I'm always trying to improve my mechanics. So today I'm going to give you beginner to pro mechanic tips. Before we hop into the video, let me thank you for clicking on this video and you're going to want to watch to the end because I will give you the skills necessary for getting good mechanics. The first and most important thing you need to do before starting to improve your mechanics is to find good keybinds. If you have horrible keybinds, you'll be very bad at mechanics. Your build keybinds should be close to your movement keybinds or on your thumb buttons. If you don't like having build binds on your mouse like me, you can put a shock on your SMG bind on it to switch weapons quickly when going into someone's box. For the edit bind, you should have it close to your index finger, and those keys are F, R, and E. My edit key is personally F, and I found it the easiest way to edit. For weapon keybinds, you should use numbers. This will allow you to learn how to switch between weapons easier and quicker. The last bind you need to set is a pickup bind. You need to put scroll up as your pickup bind because if someone drops at the same time as you, you can pick up the loot faster before they have a chance to get it. Moving into the next beginner tip, and that has to do with editing. The first thing that I need to tell you is that edit on release does not matter. You can learn how to edit fast with it on or off. I have it off, but my mechanics are still good and I can still edit fast. But what this tip was mainly about was your reset bind. If you play keyboard and mouse, this is the best way to reset builds. And to find this way, all you have to do is put your secondary edit bind as scroll wheel down and reset bind as scroll wheel down. And then you can just reset builds by scrolling down like this. Now let's move on to some more hands-on tips. The first tip is to have tight crosshair placement. This means when you edit and build, you need to practice moving a crosshair in a small area like this. Doing this will give you more consistent, fast, and good looking edits. To practice this, you first need to go into an edit map and practice editing, and then once you get good at that, you can move on to free building maps. An easy way to practice crosshair placement is to practice tarping and tunneling, which requires great crosshair placement to do. All you need to do is put your crosshair in the middle of the two top and bottom floors and move your crosshair left and right to place walls. Here is bad crosshair placement versus good crosshair placement. The next mechanics tip, which is very important in build fights, is how to do high ground retakes. High ground retakes are essential if you want to do well in fights, and also requires good crosshair placement. To do a basic high ground retake, all you need to do is be on a stair, build two walls to your right, and two walls in front of you like this. And then build a stair on top of you and edit out the front wall. You can also do the same thing on the left side. And if you want to make this retake even better, you can edit out the side like this. or do a 180 version like this. Another retake you can use if the enemy is above you, or if you have a cone above you, is placing a stair to your right or left, then placing a floor, and then another stair. Then you can edit out the floor and then double edit out of the top to have height immediately. Now let's move on to more advanced tips. The first one is how to take walls and phase through builds. To take walls, you have to have insane timing and ping. All you have to do to take the wall though, is just when you break the wall, switch to the building keybind and then place a wall. Doing this will give you the wall and you can also do the same thing by placing a cone in their box. Now for the hard part, which is phasing through builds. This skill takes lots of trial and error to learn, so it's best to get a friend to hold the wall while you try to learn it. So what you have to do is be next to an opponent's wall and place a stair above you. Next, get their wall to one shot and either pickaxe it or spray it right when you jump into the box. Now you'll be in a 50-50 situation, which you can win, and the best time to do this is when you just hit your opponent for lots of damage. The next advanced tip is how to use cones. Cones have an absurdly long range, and there are many tricks you can do with them. The first one is coning people. If you are above somebody, you can place a far cone above them to, com to prevent them from getting height. And if they are one layer above you, you can place a cone above them by aiming for the top edge of the wall and placing a cone. There is even one more trick in which you can place a cone in someone's box. They either need to be above you or diagonal from you. And you can do it by aiming for the bottom floor of their box and placing a cone. It will take lots of practice to master coning, but it is very useful. The next advanced tips is how to do peaks. Peaks are essential to damage opponents without getting yourself damaged. There are three main peaks you can do, but every time you do a peak, you want it to be on your right side and you want to reset after shooting. The easiest and simplest peak to do is a window peak. This is pretty simple. All you need to do is make a window edit to your right and shoot through it. The next peak, which takes some practice to do, is the top right hand peak. You need to make a top right corner edit, stand here with a cone below you and a floor above you. 
you. Then jumps to your left while shooting and reset the wall to damage them without even being seen. The most advanced peak which is impossible to counter is the bottom right hand peak. If you and your opponent have cones in your box and you're standing on top of it, you can shoot your opponent while they can't even see you. This peak is also good because most people tend to aim head level if someone has your wall. And here is what it looks like from both boxes perspective so you can see how it works. The last and hardest skill to learn is Peace Control. This builds on all the previous skills I showed you earlier in this video, so go practice them before practicing this one. You can practice Peace Control by going into several maps. I recommend Realistic Peace Control or Raiders Mechanics V4. So Peace Control is basically being able to take and edit builds to have pieces of your opponent's box and use those pieces to get peaks and damage them. I recommend starting off with a V4 map because the bots will damage you if you don't make correct peaks. First, you want to start off by just placing lots of builds slowly and start learning the different scenarios and trying to get consistent edits. Once you get good at that, you can start to go faster and move on to the realistic peace control map to practice peace control in a real setting like this. For all these tips to even work, you need to know how to transfer your skill to real fighting practice. To do this, just try using your skills while fighting. It will feel awkward at first, but with repetition you will get good at doing these tips that I show you today. If you want to learn even more Fortnite tips, then click the video in the middle of the screen. Subscribe for more Fortnite content. Jesus loves you and I hope you have an awesome day.